unusual couple, you know. Hello and welcome to Movie Mania 3000. Our today's video will be all about WandaVision where we'll be discuss the trailer breakdown, their past history in comics and their relationship in MCU. On January 15, the very unique Marvel television show WandaVision will finally premiere on Disney+. Plus. While many of the show's biggest twists have yet to be revealed, we do know that Wanda and Vision will be back following the events of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Now these former Avengers are a happily married couple who will live in the pleasant suburban community of Westview. But as time goes on, Wanda and Vision will soon realize that something about the nature of their existence in Westview is well anew. Together they will have to figure out what's exactly going on and how can they fight it. But before we dive right into WandaVision series, we should probably take a look at the history of these two Marvel characters in both the comics and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Wanda and Vision have been through a lot both on the page and on the on screen. While this trip down memory lane won't dive into the nitty gritty of the couple's relationship, it will revisit the biggest beat so you can get caught up. First let's talk about the history of Wanda and Vision in Marvel Comics. Wanda and Vision have been hanging around the Marvel comic worlds for a much longer period of time than they have the MCU. She's a witch. He is an advanced android. Together, they are a very powerful, very beautiful couple with one of the most enduring stories in Marvel history. Let's touch on the biggest plot points in this couple's comic history so we can lay the groundwork for them by the time they materialize in the MCU. Wanda Maximoff, also known as Scarlet Witch, was introduced into the comics four years and seven months before Vision. Arriving in March 1964, Wanda and her twin brother Pietro, also known as Quicksilver, were established as villainous assistants to Magneto. By the 70s, the twins were established to be the superhero children named Wizard. Later, the plot point was retold and it was established that Wanda and Pietro were Magneto's children. Over the years, Wanda and Pietro have kept one foot in the world of X-Men and one foot in the world of Avengers, with the pair popping up all over Marvel Comics. Wanda is an extremely powerful character, with training both in actual witchcraft and witchcraft-like abilities as a mutant. Chaos, magic, force field creation, reality wrapping, illusion creation, elemental manipulation, telekinesis, telepathy, the list goes on. In general, it's better to assume Wanda can do something magical until she can't. Now, talking about the vision, introduced in October 1968, Vision's story will sound familiar to all MCU fans. Vision was created by a robot Ultron and meant to be used by Ultron, to attack Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne. Yes, you heard it correctly. In the comics, Ultron creator is Ant-Man, not Tony Stark. This was one of the biggest plot lines in comics which was completely changed in the movie. Vision is eventually freed from the servitude to Ultron when the Avengers convince Vision to see reasons and he absorbs the consciousness of another superhero into his being. Vision joins the Avenger, is briefly controlled once again by Ultron, regains control of his body and then meets Wanda. In the comics, Vision is visibly a human being in every way but has synthetic body parts. He is also not powered by an infinity stone. The yellow stone in his forehead is actually a solar jewel which absorbs the concentrates of sun 
that Vision can shoot it like a laser. Vision also has classic superhero abilities like flight, superhuman reflexes and stamina, superhuman regenerative powers and durability. And you also have seen how he essentially picks up Thor's Majolnir. Together, Wanda and Vision are a notable Marvel Comics couple because they are the first human android relationship. Naturally, this presents some problems when the couple tried to give normal life. But thanks to Wanda's powers, the couple, who also get married, have twin boys. Eventually, it is released that Wanda and Vision's sons, Thomas and William, are actually fragments of a dumb man named Mephisto and are reabsorbed into their actual dad's being. It's a comic book. What did you expect? This event really shatters the couple and despite their best efforts to try and stay together, it didn't work well. Now, we have talked about Wanda and Vision in comics. Let's hop on to Wanda and Vision in the MCU. Wanda and Vision in the MCU Wanda and Vision's long and complicated Marvel Comics history has been reduced down to only a handful of scenes across four MCU features. This was a fact made clear in Wanda and Vision's respective episodes of new Disney Plus series Marvel Studios Legends. And now, one more Marvel Disney Plus TV show, WandaVision. There are some beats in the MCU version of Wanda and Vision relationship that will be familiar to the fans of the couple in their comics form. But the MCU has also made some key changes that have greatly impacted the couple's on-screen time. What the MCU has retained from the comics is the circumstances behind Wanda and Vision meeting one another in Avengers Age of Ultron. In Age of Ultron, Vision is still the creation of Ultron, but he is made using Stark technology, including the Jarvis operating system. Vision is also made sentiment with the Mind Stone, which is taken out of Loki's captor and placed into Vision's head by Ultron. Additionally, Age of Ultron's climactic battle between the megalomantical robot and the Avengers allow Vision and Wanda to meet for the first time. Wanda and her brother Pietro are reluctant assistants to Ultron for most of the movie before turning against him as the Avengers fight Ultron. Vision is eventually taken in by the Avengers earlier in the movie and while fighting for the good guys chooses to save Wanda during the battle rather than let get her hurt. Wanda and Vision only get a few scenes together in the Captain America Civil War with this MCU movie once again putting them on opposite teams. Despite spending a lot more time together at the newly built Avengers facility and growing closer as a result of it, Wanda and Vision find themselves on the different sides of an important ideological debate. The introduction of Sokovia Accords, which would provide more government oversight on superheroes, threatens to tear them apart. Tony Stark is pro accords while Steve Rogers is opposed. In one scene as the team debates this, Vision reveals himself to be aligned with Tony, while Wanda is more aligned with Steve, causing strain in their nascent relationship. As the movie progresses, the Before the couple can make any real plans for their future, Thanos' henchmen arrive in Edinburgh to try and kill Vision and take the Mind Stone. Wanda, Steve, Falcon and Black Widow fight Thanos' goons off and immediately go to Wakanda to see if Shuri can safely remove the Mind Stone and keep Vision alive. Instead, Vision is eventually forced to ask Wanda to destroy the Mind Stone. A fatal and devastating request. Wanda succeeds but Thanos uses the time stone to wind the clocks back and take Mind Stone for himself, killing Vision in the process. Thanos' snap of Infinity Gauntlet also wipes Wanda out of existence. In Avengers Endgame, Wanda returns in the climatic battle and gets a brief moment to take out her hand. 
anger and pain on Thanos as she beats the living hell out of him. This was about Wanda and Vision in MCU. Now let's hop on that what will happen to both of them in Wanda Vision and maybe beyond. Details about the fate of Wanda and Vision as a couple are somewhat unclear because we still have no idea what Wanda Vision has in store for the pair. Vision's existence in Wanda Vision doesn't necessarily prove that he is somehow back from the dead following the events of Avengers Infinity War. However, we can't overrule some clever MCU trickery explain that why he is suddenly back and sentient like the old days. Maybe it's an alternate reality from Wanda. Anyways, let's continue. Over the course of 9 episodes, we could see Wanda and Vision relationship touch on some of the plot points from their comics. Recent Wanda Vision trailer featured shots of Wanda preparing a nursery for her twins and even an amusing moment when the different two pacifiers are seen popping out of two different cribs. Similarly, one teaser scenes Agnes, Catherine Hahn, recognize Vision as an Avenger. This implies that Wanda and Vision life as an Avenger might factor into Wanda Vision and could affect the outcome of the stories on the show. And then there's the possible reference to Marvel's House of M arc which includes character from X-Men and the Avengers. The reference is featured in one of the earliest WandaVision trailers with a bottle of wine being served at the dinner sporting Mason de Mapres, French for house of content, label. In the comics, Scarlet Witch and Professor Xavier use their powers to construct a world known as House of M where a person's desire became reality and which eventually result in Scarlet Witch becoming too powerful and destructive. This arc could play out in the Wanda vision as a grieving post and game Wanda constructs a reality where she can have the life with vision she always wanted despite agents from outside trying to make her contact to get her to snap out of it. The House of M arc ends on a pretty devastating note, Wanda erases millions of mutants out of existence. So if WandaVision does replicate this arc, it's worth wondering if it will also end on a highly emotional note or if it will affect what will happen to Vision. Marvel has been substantially tight-lipped about who Catherine Hahn is playing. All that fans knew was that she would be a nosy neighbor. The trailer seems to cover a lot of situation and Han's character somehow finds herself as a part of most if, which is curious. More curious is that closing Kathleen has listed her name as Agnes. Friends have theorized that it's a cover for her actually being Agatha Harkness. Agatha is a powerful witch. Han is shown wearing a witch costume presumably for Halloween, who guides Wanda to the magic to create her children. Could she be the one who taught the MCU version how to alter reality? Who knows? The end of the trailer ultimately revealed two very interesting things. One was the appearance of Monica Rambeau. Most fans probably caught the clear shot of the woman, but not have an idea and not recognize her. That's okay because so far in the MCU, Monica was only seen as a child. She is a show stealer in Captain Marvel set in 90s. An adult now, she was one of the most intriguing additions to the WandaVision cast. Her role is uncertain yet, but in the comics she becomes quite, quite powerful. The other surprising members, Cat Dennings, which was Darcy Lewis from Thor and Randall Park, who is no matter how WandaVision ends, we do know that Wanda's MCU story will continue in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. It's only theoretical at this point, 
but there's merit to keeping your mind open about how the events of Wanda Vision could play into Doctor Strange 2 and Wanda story specifically. So that was all from the video. Hope you enjoyed and if yes, please drop a like and give your opinions in the comment section and do subscribe for more videos like this. Finally, thanks for watching.